All right, uh, I was on the way home and the car started skipping again. And I popped the valve cover and another one down for the count. Look at that. That's ridiculous. There's a scorpion I put on, no issues. So, man. Oh, what is that? Oh, it broke my push rod. Uh, I don't know. That, hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to show y'all something on these, about these uh, Proform rocker arms that I don't care for. And it's the issue I had when I had them on the GT is, okay, let's see. You see how this, this Scorpion rocker um, allows the push rod to sit off, like, meaning that way sit away from the cylinder head I'm trying to you see what I'm saying now look at these pro forms <laughs> they make them sit like right on it so I'm thinking I got something going on with my geometry <clears throat> um, but then again they were the same way see here see there they're like they are literally like right on it they're right against the the hole going through the cylinder head, the push out hole. Um, they are on the top side, if that makes sense. Um, anyways, I don't, it was the same way. Sorry, I'm trying to get the phone to focus. It was the same way on that car. It was the same way on that car. So, I don't know why. I guess it's just the cheap design. But as y'all can see, it's like all up against the top of the push rods, all up against the cylinder head. I'm like, this pro form, I mean, this uh, Scorpion is down. You know what I mean? Like, I could slip a dollar bill down through there. But those, I can't. So, I think that's what broke my push on yeah shit all right just got home it's about 37 degrees outside but it's kind of my only time to uh, do some adjustments on this thing um, so I'm gonna I heard a little bit of ticking on this side I think the rocker arm so I'm gonna go through check that um, and I got my other rocker arm in uh, for that side, the one that broke, and I'm waiting on the push rod to come in. It's supposed to be in tomorrow, but I'm going to go ahead and do this, and then that way I think that push rod is going to be delivered in the morning. I'll go ahead and knock that side out, and then I'm going to bolt my slicks on, and hopefully uh, test out the draggy. Okay, they all seem tight, um, but hey, I wanted to show y'all what I was talking about with how these rocker arms um, cause the push rod to ride against the head. You see what I'm saying right there? Um, let me see if I can get my flashlight better in there. See that? It's like, see how it's riding right on the tip. If you follow that push rod straight down, you see what I'm talking about. See it? I mean, there's a little gap, but I think that's what's causing a lot of the issues that I'm having with these rockers, um, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, I inspected the rest of them, and none of them are cracked or anything like that. I have plenty of room underneath the valve. You know, there's nothing touching. I mean, underneath the rocker, nothing touching a spring. Uh, nothing like that, so um, I think it's that uh, the way it, it's positioning those um, push rods against the head <clears throat> If I'm not mistaken anyway, Anyways, I'll replace them as I go. Oh I take that back. I found it I found it that one right there's a little loose Okay. All right, that's about 
that's 32 degrees a little better on the Tommen Markham I mean now as far as the Ain't no way in heck I'm gonna be able to see anything gonna happen oh there it goes Oh, I see it. A fine white line right there. Okay. That's cool. Alright. We put the filter. Fill filter. Smooth operation.
All right, all right. What's up, y'all? So I just took the car out, the LX out for some uh, some street hits. Since I uh, took the 373s out and put four tens, um, and I bolted the slick and I put the mini spool in with the four tens. And I put the slicks on it for the first time just to get the feel for it because test and tune is a uh, Friday night um, And I plan on going as far as everything looks everything's still good to go um, So I went and bolted the slicks on which I'm taking them off now and uh, Just kind of get the feel for it with the mini spool and the four tens and it kind of feels like it wants to um, Pull to the left just a slight bit, but I think it might be in an alignment issue uh, I noticed the other day when I was driving at like 60 miles an hour and I let go of the wheel it kind of the wheel is centered it's straight it's not pulling on the other but it's kind of fighting for each other and I got the wheel as straight as possible the other day on flat pavement and I look and they're both kind of uh, tilted towed out just a hair so I think it's kind of fighting for each other but with the slicks on it and the mini spool I believe uh, that's what's kind of making it worse, I guess. So I got the same amount of pressure in both tires. I'm running about 16 PSI right now. Um, and it doesn't spin at all on the street, as y'all saw. And it, it hooks good. It actually does many wheelies. Um, the best I could get in Mexico was a 818, I believe it was. I'll put a screenshot. Um, seems like it lost a little bit of mile an hour, uh, but that's kind of to be expected going from 373 to 410s. Um, it looks like it lost maybe a mile an hour to a mile an hour and a half, somewhere around there. Uh, I think I'll be able to get my 799 naturally aspirated Friday night if everything goes well. Uh, the car is, the suspension is 100% stock. Um, there is no shocks or anything like that is 100% stop no lower control arms no I mean no um, upper or lower control arms nothing um, so uh, the front struts are on it they're just super wore out so it's let the front swing up uh, super fast 100% stock nothing Stock is heavy. Um, same on this side. Stop. They are just super wore out. Uh, so, to be 100% stock suspension, springs, shocks, everything, uh, struts, everything, and to be able to do many wheelies and be in the one, well, the draggy is telling me I'm in the one nine. What was it? 196, I believe is what Draggy told me. Um, but the Draggy, compared to the actual time slip a couple weeks back at the track, uh, the 60 foots never did match up. They were always like, you know, the Draggy will say a 190, and the time slip will say, um, no, I'm sorry, time slip will say 190, and the, dra the Draggy will say like 194, 195. So, you know, it, they're not exact. So what I'm getting right now is like 194, 196 or so on the street. So I'm hoping I can be around that. If I can get into 18, 60 foot with completely stock suspension, uh, that'd be awesome. Now, this thing is kind of like, it's kind of porpoising really bad. Um, you don't really see it on the camera, but inside the car, it's like, it hits and then it kind of rocks because the front struts are completely wore out and it bounces and it kind of levels out. So that's going to be one of the next upgrades. Um, I might get some like 9010 Lakewoods like I have on the look the GT here. It's got some 9010 90, Lakewoods and 5050s on the And this car rides great. So I think. Uh, I want to get the 799 past the way it sits right now. Full interior, um, you know, just budget as can be. 
Um, so that's the plan. Uh, I did notice I was getting a little bit of rubbing. So eventually I am going to have to uh, roll that fender. Um, so, but it'll be okay for now. What I'm thinking about doing is actually maybe taking a football and shoving up in the springs maybe on both sides because it is it's like it is leaving like it needs an anti-roll bar uh you can see that front tire is way 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 cambered out when it leaves uh in alignment to the outside defender so anyways uh, that's what's up uh i had a couple of little shots that i took I think I got enough to put a video together now. I didn't want to just put videos together just to put them together. There's nothing entertaining really. Um, but this is prep going leading up to the test and tune. And um, yeah, so uh, if I don't put another video up before then, y'all have a good Christmas and New Year's. And um, y'all stay safe. Thank you for watching.